unhappiness we're talking about here. My personal unhappiness isn't funny. It isn't funny at all. When I don't feel good, when I feel upset, and I want everyone around me to feel upset. I want them to feel my pain too. So, life is disappointing. And here, life is beautiful. The girls are beautiful. Even the orchestra is beautiful. I told you the orchestra was beautiful. Outside, it's winter time. But in here, oh, it's, 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 it's so hot. We have to fight the girls to keep their clothes on. But don't go away. Sometimes we do lose a battle. Maybe some sports are painful. And their labors delight in them set off. Some kind of baseness are nobly undergone. And most poor matters point to rich ends. This, my main task, would be as heavy to me as odious. But the mistress which I serve quickens what's dead and makes my labors pleasures. That she is ten times more gentle than her father's crab, and he's composed of harshness. I must remove some thousands of these logs and pile them upon a sore injunction. My mistress, she weeps when she sees me at work, and says such baseness at ever like executor. These sweet thoughts do refresh in my labors. Most busiest when I'm at work. Admired Miranda. Indeed, we talk of admiration. Worth what's dearest to the world. Full many a lady I've eyed with best regard. And many at the time the harmony in their tongues hath into bondage brought to mind to delicate ear. For several virtues. I liked several women, never any with so full soul, but some defects in her did quarrel with the noblest grace she owed, and put it to foil, to you, <sighs> but you, so perfect and so peerless, are created of every creature's best. I do think a king, and I would not so and would no more endure this wooden slavery than to suffer the flesh fly below my mouth. In my soul speak, the very instant that I saw you did my heart fly out to your service. There is I to make me slave to it, and for your sake am I this patient to love me. See, Ravi, you absolutely and categorically refuse to address me by my proper and true name. Little things like that, see what I mean? Little things like that, how we can always tell. Sonny, boy. Little things like that. I guess you'd be more prejudiced against the Jews, too, if you wasn't one of yourself. Oh, because when there's something I can tell right off the bat, it's a Jew. What about my 